Hey everybody, I'm Crow. Welcome back to Darkest Dungeon. It's a new day, feeling better. We're gonna force it. She might only be rank one and she thinks that this is too much for her, so if it's anything like what happened whenever I sent them into the Darkest Dungeon level mission on that suicide run, I think she's probably gonna get like 80% stressed immediately. Which is why we're bringing the Jester. And everybody else is pretty neat too. So hopefully she's just gonna bleed things like crazy since it's the Warrens. And it'll be enough and we can get her to two and once he's at two we can start running veteran missions and she won't be all stressed out. And we're gonna try and get her up there. Cause she would be really useful in the Darkest Dungeon. I wanna have her available. Bleeds are just super great. If I could have her on like a Houndsmaster or a Jester and a Highwayman, like that's so much bleed in the composition. To prosecute our war against the swine, we must first scout their squalid homes. Also, the Warrens is great. Other than that one part not being there, it's just a square. If we do get any scouting, it's gonna be massive. Oh, she found a trap. Mind that such missteps are the exception, and not the rule. Fear of Eldritch could be pretty bad. I'll let you do it. Hey! That doesn't make up for everybody else dying. You know, she's not as hyper-stressed out as I thought she would. Maybe it's because she's only one level out of reach of it, instead of all the way to Darkest Dungeon. So what you got? Can't really... Yeah, we have no way of finding the traps. Can't really heal our stress if we don't fight. A handsome reward for a task well performed. Too much fighting just leads to problems, though. I guess we're gonna skip that room and just go around this way because I started going a stupid direction. Rooms of death doom. waits for the slightest. He's already at fifty. Concentration. Oh, I didn't do her abilities. Most of these people, I, I also fired a couple people. I noticed we had five grave robbers. Probably gonna fire the last one. She's just around so that we can run more missions. Twelve. Also probably don't need this arbalest. Please don't let her go over. If it bleeds, then it dies. Okay, so these things only have 40 to 80 resist. I was gonna run the other bleed thing on her too, but probably overkill. I mean, it would have been useful for these guys, but 26, 16. Ah, we could have gotten more. Lights. Not being able to camp is scary. But also remember torches. Torches are ever, are ever important. I almost want to go around. Oh, their bleed resist isn't that great. He goes first, so even more stress off. Look where it hurts. We don't have a very flexible composition for this level of dungeon. If it bleeds, reduces her damage though. It is a more powerful bleed. Four, but he can hit the front ones. Four, that only does... Oh, oh never mind. Falls. Doesn't matter, I was gonna say that only does two. Blossoms. I'm so used to bleeds and blights doing at least four. But, she is only rank one, so... Not a ton you can expect. I love that she can hit him. 48, she's still up there. But if she's good to go for the next mission, and he's good to go, we're totally gravy. Seven. If it bleeds... And it does. Stress relief. Anti-stress comp. I was actually going to run an, an antiquarian. The slow death. 
unforeseen, unforgiving. And then I remember that that stress stuff happens, and I'm like, what the hell am I doing? I don't want to lose her. People die in sex. Scout! It actually happened. For a big scouting. Battle room of treasure, we do have a key. I guess we could go this way? Am I pushing it? Should I run from battle and just go the safe way? Let's use a torch. Spiders! Well, I guess we'll have to just use this opportunity to get rid of more stress while we kill the spiders. They're gonna go next, aren't they? Nope. Another one falls. Hey, even more stress relief. Seize this momentum. Push on to the task's end. We did nothing but gain. That is unfortunate. That's not. 80-40, so she definitely bleeds the back one. Uh, which one of these is more of a problem? He stuns. Damn. I definitely think he's spookier. We can pray. It's really cool that because they're two size two, he can hit basically everything. Or actually everything. Oh yeah, and he's gonna melt this corpse eater. Pig spear. Well, thankfully he has terrible accuracy. And he has an exceptionally high bleed chance. 16, bleed out. Even stronger bleed. Oh, she can still shoot him. Six. Probably just kill the one in the back then. Yep. Prodigious size alone does not dissuade the sharpened blade. Crunching back in. She's at five. So I'm gonna need you to. Stress ain't too bad. Slice off. Please die. She doesn't have her heal. Why do I keep forgetting to do that? Get bowled. Aww. Great is the way. Who's dead anyway? It's on its own. Please bring the heal back. That one and that one. You need to be healing her. Minus sixty percent damage. Hidden compartments. Wow. How utterly useless for me. Battle. Is this gonna wear off in time? It's not. I'm using stuff. Ooh. Don't kill me. Cultist gladiators. Enchantresses. And a stupid bone guy. Get wrecked. Get wrecked. Destroyed. Aww. That would have completely finished it. Well, Prish probably wouldn't have killed her, like, all the way, but still. Killing her a lot of the way is still good. I guess it could have if she hit high. It would have finished it. Slowly. Gently. This is how a life is taken. Eldritch pull. Dodge. So, you are going to stress relief. You're... Hmm. Oh, that actually does heal her. It's just a really insignificant amount. It's off death's door, at least. 22% damage. Bleed out. Heal yourself. Like, this person's super fast. So, the bleed's just gonna kill him anyway. Might as well just take the opportunity to fix the party. Wow, you actually get to go. Healed for four. Because of increased healing. Oh, healed twice, that's why. Healed again. I wasn't expecting to get that much out of that. That worked out great. As the enemy crumbles. Maybe I should do that more often. It usually doesn't pay off that well. Curio, 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 curio. 
Yeah, I thought it wouldn't be anything special. I'm glad we have all the journal pages so I don't have to check those stacks of books. Regaining health. I know there's a chance of good things happening and nothing happening, but... This feels too risky to me. Heavily do I appreciate this scouting. So we're going to go over and around? Why you gotta do that? Resilient. Well, that actually worked out. Because if we go around this way, we're going to get an extra battle. So we will circumvent it. Or circumnavigate it, that one. Using the last of our... Hey, and we got extra health out of it, too. Sex contents are yours. We fall into total darkness and come Terrors right back out. Indeed stalk these shadows, Enter the Phoenix. A glint of gold. All right, we can't actually. Oh no, she has. No, oh, she doesn't have it anymore. Never mind. That was a lot of stress, really fast. Spasm of the entrails. Healing skills down during camping actually really sucks on her. Cause she's great at those. Quakes. She probably has the best healing camping skills in the game. You're an Iron Swan. Because you're awesome and you can hit the back row. And then Arbalist Lady is hopefully going to finish this. Before everybody gangs up on you and you die. Continue the onslaught. Destroy them. Finish it. All. Sweet. So now there won't be more stress, and their health is irrelevant for when combat ends, this dungeon is over. Oh wait, this wasn't room battles, this was just room exploration. Whatever. 21. Bunch of stressful bastards. 62, that sucks. And healing's probably fine. Reducing... That one has a lot of dodge, but if you hit it, it's dead. It's dead. Is broken. Maintain the offensive. I wish she could reduce her own, uh... Oop, not that one. Reduce her own stress. You can hit. So do so. And that's really gonna leave it at one. No camping, so at least she's under half. If this doesn't get her up, though, she's going to be immediately afflicted the next time combat. Or next time we get into one of these, because I'm pretty sure she got at least 50 stress out of it. I think it was like 52 or something. Can we possibly get another round out of this? If you could do that, and then you just kill your stress because everything else is irrelevant. Could we get one more shot of the Jester off? Go slow. Do it, yes. She'll probably be fine to go on the next mission now. So why don't you just bleed it out? Press this advantage. Give them no quarter. A trifling victory. But a victory nonetheless. Should we do that last battle? Nah, we we don't need gold. We don't really need gold. And I'm sure we're not going to get any kind of amazing trinket out of that, so... This wine folk's labyrinth may yet prove to be navigable. Yeah, we've navigated it a lot of times. I remember when heirlooms mattered. Ooh, that was only four resolve. That sucks. I thought it was six for some reason. And now she has a terrible off-guard quirk. And he's hysterically blind. Let me share with you the terrible wonders I have come to know. There is not, in fact, a better... Why is it always a leper? Like, I love lepers. And I'm glad that he's rank 4 now, because we could really use an odd replacement. But... Come on. Hand a thin gravy over here. Don't need... So hopefully... Yeah, there, there's still a medium mission that we can run on. So we're probably going to head to the Weld next time. And it's actually a medium mission, so... She'll definitely level up. Maybe even get two out of it. I don't know. Thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you liked it. Later, everybody.